Movie starts, and in a big house, we can see our main character, Joanna. She was seeing a romantic movie that night. She was feeling very lonely. As the sun rose, blood was on the floor. Her maid came there who wiped that off. After that next day, she again went to a store to buy a movie. There, she came across Paolo, and he is another main character. Paolo also liked Joanna. It was raining outside, so Joanna waited to return home. There, Paolo approached her and asked her for a drink. Both of them went to have a drink and started knowing each other. Paolo is actually a screenwriter. He could not write properly. That's why he had come to a distinct town. Joanna said that her job is to translate poetry. She had a skin condition. Because of that, she could not go in the sunlight. Therefore, she had to stay home all day long. After a while, both of them watched TV at Joanna's home. After that, Paolo was seen kissing Joanna. Joanna realized that she had committed a big mistake. Hence, she stopped him and asked him to leave. Paolo said to Joanna that he would call her later. Joanna had to let him go that way. She cried a lot for that. Paolo called Joanna's house the next day that was picked up by the maid. Paolo left a message for Joanna that he would wait for her at a bar that night. He waited for her a long time, but to no avail. Then he reached directly to her home. Joanna put a chain on the door and opened a bit of it. She wasn't allowing him to enter. Paolo said, whatever disease you have, we could figure out everything. Joanna wasn't allowing him to enter. He started kissing her from the outside. Joanna bit him on the lips while kissing. That was a very dangerous bite and Joanna asked Paolo to go home. The next day at the super shop, both came across again. Joanna left the place. The next night, Paolo again reached Joanna's home. He couldn't figure out Joanna. Joanna asked him to come close to her. She then asked him to put his hand on her chest. She explained that she does not have a heart. I could not go out in the sunlight. I am a vampire. Paolo did not believe that at all. She then brought him to her bedroom. There she tied chains. Paolo tied her and started kissing her. He was feeling bad but he wanted to know what Joanna wanted him to see. As she got excited, her tooth started elongating and the color of her eyes started to change. Paolo finally believed that but he wasn't afraid. He removed Joanna's cuffs. Then he started getting intimate with her. Then Joanna bit Paolo. In the morning, she said that I could do anything to be with you. This was the only way they both could be together. Now she would teach him everything about that world. The maid in that house had a rare blood disorder. Therefore, Joanna does not have an urge to taste her blood. She does not hurt any human. She only lives on animal blood. Joanna told Paolo that we would not age at all. If we got bruised, it would be healed soon. We could live together forever. Joanna taught Paolo to hunt. Meanwhile, we see another character, Mimi. Mimi is a reckless vampire. She does what she thinks. She could turn anyone. She might go to any city. One night, she came to Paolo and Joanna. Actually, she is Joanna's sister. Joanna always hates Mimi for her behavior. Mimi said that she would stay in the house for a week. Actually, the house in which they were staying was not theirs. A vampire actress had lent them a place to live. At night, all of them were talking. Actually, Mimi was living at a place for almost five years. She said that everyone, including her friends, started knowing her. That's the reason she had to move. Paolo, after meeting Mimi and knowing her, thought she was normal. But Joanna told him that later, you would know that she is crazy. The next day, when Joanna and Mimi were talking, then Mimi said, Are you feeling lonely? That's why you turned Paolo. You said that you loved him, but if you truly loved him, you must not have turned him like that. The life of a vampire is very hard. Joanna got angry after listening that she called the actress and said, Mimi could not live here. She is out of control and could do anything. The actress said that Mimi had talked to her. She is changing now. One night, Paolo took Joanna to a restaurant. He knew that Joanna did not like living in this house. And he said that he had some money. We could buy a new house after going someplace. We could start fresh after going there. Joanna also liked that idea and they had made a plan. Meanwhile, Mimi went to a club. She met a boy and after getting intimate with him, she turned him. That night, Joanna and Paolo hunted an animal. When Paolo was burying that animal, Mimi approached him and said, You allowed Joanna to bite you. How could you do that? Are you mentally ill? You seemed self-destructive to me, which is very attractive for me. She was flirting with him there. Paolo asked her to go to hell. After that, they came to a party arranged by the actress. Here, Joanna made Paolo meet everyone. Everyone was a vampire at that party. 
some people used to like the vampire's lifestyle, some didn't. When everyone was discussing that, some of them believed that we should attack human beings together. The world belongs to us. The actress said that, I have synthetic blood, the government could supply that to us. Until now, no human knows this, they will kill us if they know. We could not talk to the government. Mimi left the party early. She was getting intimate with two people. When Joanna reached home, she made these two persons to leave. Those two people had a fight. It was very late at night. Those two people who left the house were feeling scared. All of a sudden, Mimi attacked them. Then they disappeared. Joanna confronted Mimi and got angry at her. She asked her where did they go? Mimi replied that they might have gone to the hospital. Joanna was yelling and getting irritated at her behavior. Mimi got her by the neck. She said, stay away from my life. Soon I will go from this place. Then a lot of time had elapsed, but Paolo had not contacted his agent. The agent was worried about him and he came to his town and searched for him everywhere. Finally, he came to the bar, talked to the bartender and asked about his whereabouts. Actually, the bartender used to like Paolo. That's why she knew that Paolo was in a relationship with Joanna. The agent reached Joanna's home and he was impressed. Paolo said that he had started writing also. The agent got impressed after reading those pages. At dinner, he said to Joanna that Paolo had changed a lot because of you. Earlier, he did not used to talk to anyone. He used to write very weird books, but this time he has written a good book. Finally, he seems human. He was very happy for both of them. They had dinner, but the agent was drunk to an extreme. He asked Paolo whether I may stay here tonight. They did not seem to have an issue. At night, Joanna saw in a dream that someone had attacked the agent. When she went into the agent's room in the morning, she realized that was not a dream. Actually, she had killed the agent. She could not control her urges. After cleaning the entire space, she took that under her control. She made sure that Paolo could not know anything about that. Joanna believed that as Mimi had returned to her life, that's why she had started behaving like that, and her urges had also returned. To send Mimi back, she called the actress. She explained to her that Mimi was behaving recklessly. She is turning anyone. She could not allow her to live in that town. The actress replied that she would go after seeing her play within a few days. This is just a matter of a few days. The servant of that house was hearing all that talk. After a few days, the night of that actress's play had arrived. The play was very successful. Joanna and Paolo came to see that play and they left the place too early. Teenagers were very excited to meet the actress. Mimi saw a teenager and said to her that, I am a friend of that actress. You could go with me to her house. Joanna was very worried about Mimi those days. Paolo said that, don't worry a lot. When he was taking a shower, Mimi came from behind and kissed him. He started getting intimate with her. As she was leaving, she said that, if you did not like me, you would not have done this. That was Mimi's plan to take revenge on Joanna. Mimi takes the teenager to the actress's home in the next scene. She introduced both of them. The actress became angry about that. Mimi had a talk with her in private. She said that she had not killed a human being in 200 years. It becomes more difficult to control one's urges as time passes. It was difficult for the actress to control herself after seeing that teenager. Mimi gave water to the teenager as she was about to leave, but the glass was broken the teenager got injured. Then the actress could not control herself after seeing the blood. She killed the teenager. After that, Mimi said to the actress that I would take care of everything. Nobody will know about it. You only have to buy me a house in this town. Mimi always wanted to live in that house. Therefore, she planned that. She got actress into her plan. Now she would buy a house after blackmailing her. Paolo and Joanna were planning to start a new life in another city. But Paolo felt guilty and told everything that happened between him and Mimi. She got hurt and cried a lot. Then Joanna confessed that she had killed Paolo's agent. Nobody is perfect between both of them. Both want to live their lives together. Therefore, they forgave each other. In the morning, when Mimi was returning home, a deer came in front of her car. She lost control due to it. The car hit a tree and she was injured badly. If she could not reach home before the sun rose, her skin would start burning. She could not do anything because of her bruises. She had burns on her skin because of the sunlight. She tried to come home crawling. On the way, she met the maid of the house. Maid had listened to Joanna, and she knew that Mimi was an evil vampire. She kills innocent human beings. That's why she did not help her. On the opposite, the maid killed Mimi and put her body into a bag. 
afterward, Paolo and Joanna went to a new city to start their new life. They accepted one another as they were. And the movie ends here. <laughs>